I was, I thought I had already had the feelings that come with hearing about the issues, but nothing really prepared me for hearing the stories of the, of mostly the women I was hearing from, because um, they were darker and sadder and more real than even I thought they were. And I felt horrible knowing that somebody has to live with that grief and that trauma, which becomes too often a type of its own disability. And it's all such a waste. People actually will listen to me because they think that I'm no threat to anybody. And sometimes I can end up saying things and not carry the risk. It was amazing. So, I mean, it was just transformative and powerful. And thank you so much for making this film. What do I think about the film? I think it's awesome. I was very moved by Misha, and uh, it's very moving. I teach at Berkeley, so I'll be te telling my students about it. Do you think other people should watch this film? Definitely. Hi, I really enjoyed your film. Thank you so much for trying. So what do you think about Where is Hope? It was great. Very, very uh, inspiring. And, uh, the dog to comment. Okay, doggy. What do you think about Where Is Hope? She thought it was an amazing movie. She was very moved by it. Okay, what do you think about it? I agree with my dog. It was a fantastic film. It's really hard to watch. It's super heavy and it's super real. I thought it was very powerful, really effective, and very sad. I think it's really, really important. I think everybody should see it. Thank you, Thank you for the lesson. People read, need to see this film. They know about need to know about this as an issue. It's not a new issue, and. It's a heartbreaking issue. Yeah, well, thank you for making the film. Yeah, it's going to save lives. You know, deal is, if you want to go around the room and just say the name very quickly, very simply, of someone who you know of or, or know um, who was, well, I think what you should say, who was killed by law enforcement. Very close. I felt most connected with Kayla Moore. Oh, we met her sister. Vicente. Yeah. The first person that comes to mind does, uh, I guess, is. Tamir Rice. I, I think about him often. Uh, Ethan Saylor is a uh, lot of A childhood friend of mine, Leon Lemias. A family friend named Say in Long Beach, California was killed by the police and he was a man with intellectual disability. And even after the neighborhood children, as well as the neighborhood where he was at, told the police that he's just playing around, um, that they all know that you know he's okay, um, they still shot him in front of everybody. Is that for a disabled person was in institutions that I saw uh, physically restrained, uh, face police violence, um, and they were taken into another room, and I never saw what happened again. So whether they uh, are alive or dead, they're still, you know, even those who are alive are living with that trauma. It's the same, uh, only the first name, my friend Jessie, um, because I'm not sure that her family would define it that way, but I, in a indirect way, I think she was killed by police intervention in her Yanira Serrano Garcia. Cameron Boy. Idris Telly. Anita Gay. Matt Chan. Mario Woods. Herbert Benitez. Alice Andrew Brown. Herbert. But Muda or Shane Evan. I'm pretty sure you will continue following the, the people who you've heard today um, and spreading the word about the film, which is an amazingly powerful tool for getting this discussion going. And also, if, if you know people that want to see more, um, or we have to see more um, events open. Uh, you can go on Facebook and check out Where's Hope. Please, or my page, Vivian Warren. Uh,
we have a showing at Oak Stop, I think, on Wednesday. And we have a showing at Allen Temple Baptist Church tomorrow. So, yeah. Thank you.